So I figured out a pretty cool way to display the beard and spurs for my Missouri turkey hunt. That video will be coming out next week. This is an easy display to put together. I'm going to show you everything you need. Of course, links in the description below for anything else you might need. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check this out. All right, so putting this together is going to be pretty simple. Let me show you all the stuff that you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need your beard and your legs because we're going to cut those spurs off. And if you have it, the shotgun shell that you harvested the bird with will really make a nice little touch on this display. If you want, some wood beads will help dress it up a little bit. And I'm going to use a little piece of leather that I picked up from the craft store for the hanger. Pretty simple stuff. Hacksaw, hot glue gun, a board with a hole in it, unless you have a reloading press that you can knock the primer out of the shell with, and a hammer, and we'll get cracking on this thing. I'm going to cut these off out here on my table using my vise. So I think it'll make this go a whole lot easier. And I'm not going to leave a lot. You could leave as much or as little of this bone as you want. I'm probably only going to go maybe a quarter inch each way of the spur. All right, once you got the spurs cut off the leg, what we're going to do is take a razor knife and skin this thing, strip all the skin off of here. Take your time, don't cut yourself. You're going to want to shave around that spur cap too. The hardest part of this is going to be cleaning up these spurs. You have got to get all of this membrane out of here or it'll just stink. So you got to scrape all this junk out to finish cleaning it up. Once you got them cleaned up real good, they're going to look like this. We're just going to set those in the sun for a bit, let them dry while we work on the shotgun shell. Now you can do this any way you want. You can use the full shell, but I really don't like the looks of them on the full shell. So I'm going to cut this off and just use the brass part. Just going to cut that and trim it. Pretty simple. Now, put the primer over that hole in your board and knock that dude out of there. Boom. Now that's how we're going to hang this thing. Okay, the beads are obviously an extra step you don't have to do, but what we're going to do is take the leather cord and run it through the beads. I got them organized the way I think it look pretty cool. We're going to run them through there, run them through the hole in our shotgun shell, tie a knot in it on the inside, nice big knot, put some hot glue on that, and that's how we're going to hang this thing. Then I'll take the extra hot glue, or some extra hot glue, and glue the beard in the shell. So it's going to end up looking something like that, which I think will look pretty cool hanging up. Not bad. All right, so let's feed this through the hole, a primer hole in our shotgun shell. Figure out about how far down we want that thing to hang. Probably not too far. I'd say about in there somewhere. And we'll tie a nice big knot in it. Not going to cinch it down too tight. So I'll check it and make sure it looks the way I want it to look. Yeah, that's going to work pretty good. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add one more bead on there. I think it'll look better with a bead right there. There we go. Let's try that again. Yeah, I like that better. <clears throat> and again, let's have a look before we get too carried away with it. That don't look too bad at all, does it? All right, once you got everything the way you like it, what you want to do now, move that out the way, cinch that knot up a little bit better. Not so tight that it'll go through your, your hole, of course. There you go. Go ahead and trim that off. And now it's hot glue gun time. Okay, you want to fill up that void with that hot glue as best you can, at least up to the knot, because that's what we're going to use to stick that beard to. And go ahead and let that part cool off for a few minutes. All right, after that's had a few minutes to cool off, 
go ahead and put another generous bunch of hot glue in the shotgun shell and put some on the end of your turkey beard that way you know you'll get a good bond there and stick him on in there the way you like it And you're just going to need to hold that for a few minutes while it cools off. All right, pull those beads back down. And there you go. Now go ahead and hit that thumbs up like button down there while you're thinking about it. That's worth it. Look, y'all, I found a hidden immunity idol. You Survivor fans will get that. Let's go hang it up. All right. All right. I think that looks pretty decent. What do you think? So that looks pretty good, I think. There's another cool way you can display your turkey beards and spurs. Let me know in the comments below how you like to display your beards, if at all. Make sure you hit that subscribe button over there and give me that thumbs up like button. Check out some of the other videos while you're here, and we'll see you next time.